Welcome to the first in a series of video training exercises that talks about performance management at Troyers. Our current job performance review served us well for many years. As we grow, both in terms of the number of employees and the various locations of our operations, we need a system that grows with us. In this video series, you'll learn more about performance management. This will help us grow as individuals and as a company. We are excited about this and hope you are too. We are redesigning the entire process and you may be asking yourself, why? We have found that goals are not always aligned between managers and individuals, let alone from department to department. So this creates a situation where we may not be aligned properly from top to bottom. Reviews are often too subjective and are infused with personal opinions. And merit increases are not always tied directly to an individual's measurable objective performance. Well, it's changing. We're changing to one timeline. This will allow us to set goals at the beginning and review them at the end of each year. We are introducing a new simple to use evaluation form. This will replace the current evaluation sheets we use today. Managers will not only look at the individual, but rather compare their team members to identify high potentials, solid performers, and those that may not be living up to our standards. To do this, we will use a nine box talent matrix. Senior leaders will review this information and consult with managers about proposed merit money. In the future, we will not give merit at the end of a performance review meeting. It looks too planned and that the managers already made up their mind before the discussion even started. Instead, we will review the nine box matrix and discuss proposed merits before they are approved. We talked about being aligned. Watch this video and see if it's an issue. So that was my weekend, nothing special. What about you? You seem rather chipper for a Monday. Today is a good day. It's my performance review. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're excited about the performance review. My next meeting is a one-on-one. -on -one. I have to deliver a performance review. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's with Matt. Oh, I can see why you're so depressed. Man, I'm stoked about this one. Because last time Melanie gave me kind of a bad review. Last time I gave him an extremely negative review. What exactly did she say? You know, mumbo jumbo manager speak. I couldn't have been more clear. Like needing a little touch up here and there. His appearance was sloppy, he was passive and unmotivated. Maybe he'd learn some more stuff. And the quality of his work was completely substandard. And we talked about my future. I also said that I didn't see much of a future for him. Dude, you have to read between the lines, but she was majorly hinting that I could go places. I don't think he's going to make it to the end of the year anyway. With a little spit and polish? No big deal. So that's what I did. Got myself some spit and polish. Buddy, you're looking at Mr. Improved. If anything, he's gotten worse. I don't know which is more objectionable, his social deficiencies or his technical incompetencies. I mean, I've busted my hump this last year. I even took some night classes at the community college. Well, I can see why you're so enthused about things. It's more than that. I think I'll finally get that promotion I deserve. And believe me, with a new baby on the way, I could use all the cash I could get. I'm putting Matt on probation. And that means no yearly bonus, but fortunately I hear his wife has a good job. Especially with my wife losing her job and all. Sorry to hear about that, mate. Tell you what, you give me a call after the review and we'll celebrate over lunch or something. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Cheerio. <laughs> well, call me for lunch later. I have a feeling you're gonna need to take a break. Well, Matt, are you ready? You bet. Uh, now, I'm... Jumping the gun a little bit here, I know. Uh, and uh, maybe it's just nerves because my wife lost her job and all. But you'll see I deserve that promotion. Uh, promotion? Yes. And I have you to thank. You know that little pep talk last time? And with being a new daddy and all. Anyway, I'm just so excited to hear what you have to say. 
Do you think Matt and Melanie had been talking throughout the year? Do you think they were in sync? Were they aligned? Maybe you can relate to that situation. What are the benefits of having a more rigorous, objective view around goals and results? First, team members are more engaged in the work. Team members know that what they do matters, and that contributes to the company results and our own bank accounts. The second thing it does is it shows the employees what we expect of them. We call these competencies. The third thing is that it really fosters an ongoing dialogue. This method is not a once a year exercise and the goals can change throughout the year as the business evolves. The last thing is the most important for long term stability for our company and for our people. It drives better business results. Now there's lots of different phases to employee evaluations. We're here today with what we call a one on one review between the team member and the manager. This is where we're going to stay for a while, but I wanted to at least expose you to evaluation models that other companies are using. Some use a 180 degree review, which not only includes the team member and the manager, but it also allows peers to rate each other. This really promotes the spirit of teamwork when you know that your buddy will be rating you. The ultimate is really the 360 degree review. This has three aspects, employee manager, employee peer, and introduces a third facet, which is customers and direct reports. Imagine, for example, if a customer service representative's review was partially based on feedback from customers or a manager's review took into account objective comments from their team. But for now, we're just going to focus this process strictly on phase one. So let's wrap this up. What are the key components to a performance management system? First, it's good goal setting. Next, it's competencies. We touched on them and they go beyond just what did you do, but also talks about how did you do it? We will have integrated evaluation sheets that plot team members on the nine box. And there's going to be this nine box matrix review, and this will help us make better talent decisions. In the end, the team member and the company benefits. There will be several more videos breaking all this down into individual training modules, and I hope you'll join us in the next video. Remember, to add your comments or questions below so we can all benefit from the dialogue. Thank you.